here I am again, um, being woken up again every single fucking day this week uh, by my so-called friend. Yeah, my friend, Louie, who has been found out, has been betraying me for the past, oh, 10 years, 12 stalkers that incidentally he brought into my life. All of them, 100%, introduced me to them, brought, you know, made friends with them first, told me I should be friends with them. Yeah, so woken up again today after missing work this week because I'm traumatized as fuck. Mm hmm Yeah. So, as if it's not bad enough, I have to deal with this shit every single day. I had to find out that my best friend is in on it. Ex- <laughs> best friend, yeah, that person I supported and loved and took care of and bought his domain so he doesn't get slandered the same way I did and paid his internet and phone bills, took care of him, yeah, well, see, the thing is, is, um, he doesn't care because he's the only one that has anything to lose, yeah, in his words, yeah. So, again, he's helping uh, people kill me. In fact, he had me banned on Facebook, and I'll talk about that. And here's what's really fucked up. You're allowed to threaten people. You're allowed to threaten to kill them. You're allowed to do anything you want. You're allowed to be Chris G. Go and stalk me for seven, six years. You're allowed to... You're allowed to do anything you want, except tell the truth. Can't be a whistleblower. You can't show the evidence. You can't show that people are trying to kill you. You can't show that Chris G is stalking you. You, you just, you're not allowed to. What happens when you do? You get banned. So I'm going to show you. In fact, I'll just read to you. <clears throat> what I got banned for. I got banned for posting this, uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook messages about this chicken Louie trying to kill me. And uh, so I'll read it to you, and what she's saying here, I'm not taking this as a joke. What she's referring to is me having the balls to comment four words, one comment, on my friend's Facebook page. <laughs> but apparently I'm not allowed. I'm not taking this as a joke. Angry isn't the word. I'm finished. I never asked for this. I didn't invite this person into my life, and I want the interview with me removed ASAP. And that's just where I'm gonna start. I knew this would happen, and it has. Okay, wait a minute. You didn't invite me into your life when you asked me to come on your stupid, ridiculous, retarded, lame, and boring podcast that Louie has been running for you 100% as your bitch? Oh, really? So I heard of you, I knew you then before when- what? Nope, sorry, I'm the stupid homeless chick living on the road. You called me. I was in a rest area. Uh-huh. Found a quiet rest area to do the show with you, Christine Pittman, who thinks that she's Yael Measles. Here, let's continue. Ah, Louie plays dumb, as always. He thinks he can appease the stalkers and psychopaths. Oh, what interview. She says the podcast ever dragging on and on about her troubles. I'm not taking this lightly. I knew it was a matter of time before your internet crazies attacked your... Re so now I'm attacking Louie, right? <laughs> That's why I told you to pay her a visit. Yes, she told him to pay me a visit because if he just surprised me and paid me a visit, then he would find out that she, this stranger I've never met, was 100% right about me, being a drugged up, uh, heroin addicted, prostitute, dealing, child abusing, per you know, I guess she doesn't know that we've already known each other, and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so he would find out the truth that I'm not actually homeless, it's just a story, yeah. Oh, I got a lot on my plate now. Give me a time to handle this, Louis says. And it says, 
All I did was open the floor to a guest. The guest showed me right away she shouldn't be a guest, and I was happy to pull out and back completely away. Which, um, by the way, that show is uploaded here, and I'll show you on the video. It's the gang stalking show that um, I just uploaded yesterday. Oh, great, internet's not working. Oi, no internet. Excellent. Okay, well, anyways, the gang stalking show video I just uploaded, so that's where you'll find that. Okay, all I did was open the floor to a guest, uh, so he says, blocker, please, I'll talk to her. Well, after all the times I stood up for you and put my ass on the line for you, I'll remove some things off your plate. You've been wanting to quit the show for months, true. Louie tried to quit, like the little bitch he is, four different times, but she kept scaring, she kept saying, you're stealing food from my children's mouth, which, really, dude? They're not making money on that, and they never will. It is 100% part of the gang stalking efforts to keep Louie from doing what he does best and keep get Louie involved in killing me. Uh-huh. Keeping tabs on me. Uh-huh. Which, by the way, this is how I was woken up again this morning, is um, uh, Louie just had to let me know she found me and she called the cops on me for existing. What the fuck, dude? Does that not prove more stalking, more harassment? Come get me. What did I do? I woke up today. Holy fuck. Call the cops. And fuck you, Louie. Fucking selling out your friend for a fake Jew bitch controlling you, telling you what a shitty comedian you are, trying to get you to quit because you suck and you ruined it, forcing you into counseling because you think you're crazy now, because you let her gaslight you into submission? Do you seriously not know how gang stalking works after all these years, Louie? You got lured in by Jim Stack, you got lured in by Chris, you got lured in by Lenny Bruce, you got lured in by Hutch, you got lured in by people, Donna, Va Donna, Kimberly, um, all those show people that I don't even know their names that still follow me around because of you, Louie. Mm -hmm. You seriously don't know how it works? by now. Anyways, all right, let's go back. Okay, um, well, I'm past anger. I won't have a crazy asshole whom I only wish to change, wish to get the change to claw her eyes out one day will come after me. Not on your life. I only wish this cunt would come fight me. She won't be suicidal when I'm done with her. Out. Louis says, I've got nothing to say that isn't going to sound sarcastic. Don't you love how he acts like this big tough guy <laughs> in public or on the radio when he's alone, but when he's around these people, he's always like bowing down. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Whatever you say. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> All right. She says, I'm sure this makes no difference to you. Blah, blah, blah. She said she blocked you. I threw up, and this is funny. She didn't think you'd see it. Yeah, like the pushy she is, she thought wrong. <coughs> and Louise says, just delete the comment. Oh, I did, but I'm just going to remove the entire problem. So what's that? What's the entire problem? Uh, me. Oh, I see. And Louise says, oh, you mean me? She says, you can't be friends with both people. Not because I say so, because you can't. I did nothing to bring this to myself. Oh, you mean infiltrating my friend and taking up all of his time to keep him away from his show and what he's doing? Oh, and his two now homeless brain injured friends? Yeah, really? You didn't? You didn't force Louie to try to build your lame show that nobody will listen to? Uh, why don't they listen to? Because you, you're unlistenable. Y'all. <laughs> Can't you just pick a normal fucking name? Give me a break, Christine. Okay, well, I'm not gonna choose. I love you both, he says. Yes, he loves the stalkers again, like he always does. All they have to do is show him tits, and he completely forgets he, he gets amnesia. 
He forgets what they did to him, he forgets what they did to me, and he finds a way to justify what they did to me, because now I'm crazy, right? After 10 years of evidence that he's been there for, he was the one recruited and admitted publicly, listen to the gang stalking show video. But now it's okay, because he's the only one that has anything to lose, and, you know, fuck you, Christy, I'll throw you under the bus, and I'll block your Facebook page, and get you banned, and good one, Geo. I bet he's laughing at you now, huh, Louie? You fell for it. <laughs> Dummy. That's funny. Yeah, it really is funny what a wish you are. I'm just, I'm dying laughing. It... It's really, not really shocking. I already knew you were a wuss. That's why we always had to have these conversations about you going hanging out with your demons. But seriously, dude, you want people to think you're this nice guy and superhero and how, oh, you're, you're fighting my battles? How are they my battles? You brought them into my life, Louie. You did. You brought them. All of these people never heard of in my life. You brought them in my life. These are your battles, and you have made me the scapegoat. Fuck you, Louie. All right, let's get back. All right, so you've heard a few veiled death threats in here so far, but let's see. Yeah, I don't want to read it all. It's making me sick anyways. Um... So, well, okay, well, I'm not walking into more problems, blah, blah, blah. I'm crying right now. You don't even get how fucking past angry I am. Why would you even discuss her with me? Because you can't be loyal to both parties. You need to trash talk me to her and her to me or vent about the other to the other. Whatever it is, I didn't ask for it and I don't deserve it. It's fine. My ears, my eyes are open today. I'll feel bad and deal with it like I do everything else terrible that happens. This happened because you can't be friends with both people. All right, so there she is setting him up to back out and make him feel guilty so he can be like, oh, no, 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 no. And again, he tried to back away from her. This was the fourth time, but he fucking chicken shit it out because she threatens and blah, blah, blah. So, okay. So, oh, well, then Louis says good people have to fight bad guys. I can't get you to understand. So basically, he's playing her, acting like I'm the bad guy, but he's on her side and he's, you know, just hang on. It's the same game he played with me. Oh, just hang on, Christy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he did admit, by the way, that he took the wee easy way out because he was a pussy and he betrayed me and lied to me and apologized for being a shitty friend. But anyways, here we go. She says, I'm backing off this because neither one of you can handle what I want to do if she ever comes near my wife. I guess that means life again, which when did I ever go near her life? Fuck her. Again, I'm telling you, I'm going to have no mercy and I'm about to join forces with every human being alive that hates this cunt. I will reach out tomorrow, should I need to flex my muscles. Louis says, what does that mean? She says, you're not ready for what I'll do. He says, don't make threats when I'm not the enemy. She says, you can't even finish what you started. Greg just said, you did this to yourself. You threw bombs, having no clue they would explode. And I have no idea who Greg is, but it must be just a mystery stalker. I know they have another dude on the show called Keenan. Never heard of this Greg, so maybe he's the handler? Who knows? So then she says, yeah, Greg just told me seriously to either not tell Keenan or wait until later to tell him so he doesn't freak out. We've all gone so hard to bat for you. Look at that. Oh, really? Did you pay his bills? No, he's paying yours. Hmm. We just have all of us. Just let me... Not just me, but I've probably done the most. So this feels like a huge spit in... She says she's done the most. Louis is paying for the server. He's the producer. He's the editor. He books the shows. And check this out. He's not allowed to talk on the show. And she demands that he removes him. 
<laughs> he has to edit himself out of the show. And she's saying she's doing all the work. Mm-hmm. Okay. What a pussy Louie is. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Grow up, dude. Be a man. Seriously. You are the vehicle that they have used to get to me. Why? Because you're an easy target. Why? Because your judgment sucks. Why? Because you're easily swayed by boobies and they know that. Why? Because you hate yourself so much you can fall for their little rock star dangling the carrot routine. And this is actually important information because anybody can be drawn into this. You know, if it wasn't Louie, it could have been somebody else, except, and, you know, most of my friends are smart. And they don't allow those types of energies in their lives, of course. This is where Louis sits. But these are the cool guys, and I, I just want them to leave me alone. So I'll just do what they want, anything. So that's how gang stalkers recruit your best friends to take part in your murder. Mm -hmm. And then let them know where you are, what you're doing, right? You think it's a coincidence that they just came out of the woodwork and exposed themselves in full force again? Right when I put up a video looking healthy, feeling better, having a goal, printing my pictures, being able to move forward. Do you think that's a coincidence? They didn't know. That's because it is the goal of gang stalking to make sure you do not eat, to make sure you have zero support. It is number one goal to drive its target, its victim crazy. And if you do not know about this, you need to look at predatory gang stalking. This is how it works and you have watched it. And for those of you that have known me, in 10 years I've been online, teaching, doing radio, I'm just going to point this out again. When I first started, 3,000 square foot house on the top of the hill overlooking the border in the ocean in San Diego. Then what? Midwest, three bedroom. Then what? Two and a half bedroom. Then what? Two bedroom. Then what? One bedroom. Then what? RV. Then had to sell the RV. Then homeless. Then a free van. That's how it's gone. How? my friends betraying me, letting them know where I am, letting them know where to find me, letting them know where and how to file false reports like you did today, Louie. Uh-huh. Yeah, letting them know where I'm in the hospital, letting them, yeah, all those things. You outed me. You killed me. And if it wasn't for some crazy, weird fucking force of God keeping me abnormally strong... I would have been dead a long time ago, and your blood would have been on my hands, Louie. Let's get back to the death threats of this bitch that you're protecting. This, by the way, this bitch, this, this stuff I'm reading here, these death threats. All I did was post this, and he had me banned on Facebook. Oh, please protect her. The real stalkers are going at... The real stalkers? You mean the ones that she's admitting she's talking to in here? Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Good game there, Louie, but you really suck at it. Okay, Greg, do 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 like most. Do 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 Okay, there's no way she would know anything we talk about unless you told her. I've mentioned to you that I don't want to hear about her, and I don't want you to discuss me or my family with this woman, and once she did again. Greg wanted to talk to you today because he even said himself, you don't get the amount of shit that we go through to be loyal to you. It's silly. <laughs> Greg must be the handler. I can't wait to find out who that is. <clears throat> she says, you and Greg do not understand the situation. Okay, so she says, you even tried to turn this around when you called me today, taking nothing into account that you and her are my only sources to even form an opinion. <clears throat> Which is not true. She already admitted she was into the geo lies long ago. But, uh, and opinion I don't even want to have about this fucking idiot. I understand enough to know that your involvement with these people does affect me. I'm so pissed off because in my life I've never spoken an unfair word. 
<coughs> so, about you to one soul. Oh, you mean except directly to Louis's face, telling him what a piece of shit he is and how he sucks at comedy and should just quit and just work for you for free because he doesn't know what he's doing? <coughs> I've lifted you up uh -huh, to the people who hate you to tell them they're wrong. They're not. I'm wrong. Then I won't be wrong anymore. Even when you're wrong or have been at blame, I've defended your honor. I wouldn't even have to fucking try to build my army. I'm not gonna, if for no other reason, than have to go back on what I said to people who matter to me. I'm not going to back to go back and update bad information. No point. I'll just look stupid. And for her to slander something you've worked so hard for, why do something to me she knows will hurt you? Ah, because she's wicked and sick, and all the ucky, yucky, mucky, nasty things I've ever said about this P.O.S. is true. I hope the earth dissolves her like the shit she is. By the way... This is the person who was praying to God, her God, whatever, demon, every day um, to ensure my swift death. Mm -hmm. And has even spoken the words to Louis multiple times of how she wants me suicided. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying I'm fired? She says, put yourself in my position here. He says, are you saying we're no longer friends? She said, I shouldn't even have an opinion on this woman. How would you handle this? If I had actually ever done anything, my God, at all like this to you, you'd publicly take my head off. He says, not anymore. You taught me that would be wrong, that I'd lose back. Oh my God, Louie is under some fucked up mind control, dude. I'd just go away. I'd lose badly. Like, total fucking clone robot, like, oh my god. What did we do to do, to deserve, to deserve what? Me existing? That's the whole point. She's, like, turning it into, like, I actually did something. What did I do? I woke up. Call the cops. Christy woke up again. I will join forces with every soul alive that doesn't like this bitch, should this, whatever this is, non-existent, ever happen again. She says it won't. She has you blocked. And I made her prompt, really? Fuck you, Louie. You don't make me do anything, and I'm not going to promise to protect a criminal. I said, no, I'm not going to protect a criminal, so what did you do? Took down my page. I'll get whatever I want. Because it's just Christy, the homeless disabled chick. She doesn't have anything to lose anymore. So I'm going to join in and beat up on her. Because it's just an easy scapegoat. And I could save my own ass and maybe look good. Mm -hmm. Good try, Louie. Thanks for exposing yourself. Okay. I will destroy her every day until the last breath. I Oh, it went Saturday. Yeah, I'll join forces. I will open my floor to the voices of her children for the truth. She can't handle me. She can't. I will destroy her every day until her very last breath. Then she says, Remember who Yael is, my friend. Read some book of Judges tonight. The holiest and most blessed of all assassins. So... She just declared herself an assassin, and Louis is supposed to remember that and read the Book of Judges because she is the blessed, blessed of God's assassins and is just going to come get me. She's doing God's work. Remember who I am, my friend, the holiest and most blessed of all assassins. <laughs> you really think a lot about yourself, chick. Look this chick up, Yael Measles, M-E-I-S, <laughs> Measles, <coughs> which actually stands for mouse, and she is a little mouse. Louie says, okay, how do you want me to make this right? She says, don't ever fucking let this sum near su the show and believe when I say I will do everything I said I would and more. Should she consider crossing me again? Well, crossing me, I've never crossed you, bitch. So, apparently, according to experience, me waking up means crossing you, and that's why you have to dedicate your life to finding me and calling cops on me and having harassed more? Really? 
Hmm. So, didn't you just cause it? Aren't you the one inserting yourself into my life? Can I just fucking be a homeless, disabled chick alone? In peace? Thanks, Louie. Okay, I want the interview with her removed right now. Oh, because she wants to pretend she didn't enter my life. So let's just delete it, and then I can pretend I'm a victim of Christy. Isn't that funny? That's something you all gotta realize. When you or someone you know is being gang-stalked and you read the slander and things that they write, what you have to know is all they're doing is accusing you of what they are. So, I know it's hard to not get mad and get your feelings hurt, and oh my god, how could somebody say this? But all they're doing is telling on themselves. And there, look, there's not one person in their right mind that can say I'm stalking anybody, dude. I'm fucking fighting for survival. I'm fighting to live, to exist. That's it. Traveling. On the road. Who am I stalking? Please show evidence of me doing these things, or heroin, or picking up junk, all these stories you make up. You're only telling on yourself. By the way, Yael, I found the articles you wrote, not articles, blog comments on the Jewish sexual, you know, pedophilia thing, when you're going out talking about what pedophiles they are. I'm just wondering why you give them your money, if, if you know all this, and, and tell me about the dude you were living with on heroin. Hmm. Were you perhaps the heroin dealer? Were you perhaps the junkie? Is that why you accuse some stranger you've never met from 3,000 miles away? Huh. Yeah, accuse your victim of what you are. I know how this works, and so does anybody watching this video. So let's get back. I want the interview with her removed right now so we can pretend they didn't exist, just like Gio and the rest of them. And I will open the floor to her children should I have to. Yes, you said that. You know how you want to be vi You know how you want to be violent sometimes and fight someone? Well, I want to fight this bitch like she owes me some child support. Okay, come get me, chicken shit. Oh yeah, that's right. You're just going to hide behind a computer screen. Yeah, that's what you big heroes that beat up on homeless disabled chicks do. You hide on a computer screen, talking a big story. I'm inviting you. Come here. Come make good on all of your threats. Please come fight me. Come punch me. Come do it, please. Chicken, you hide in the dark, like a thief in the night. Why? Because you're a coward. Your words, Yael, and even including you, Louie, mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come here. Right now, you have an open invite. There's a door. Okay, listen to this. Oh, well, she won't ever do that again. Do what again? Comment on Louie's page. <laughs> she says, I hope not, because I'm a people finder by profession in real estate. This is where she goes and... <laughs> okay, well, and this is another story, too. I'll get into that. But I hope not, because I'm a people finder by profession in real estate. I find people all over the world who own properties. I will find every soul alive, as I've stated my search, started my search already, that doesn't like her, and I will make sure I am nothing but helpful in whatever their mission is for her. Even though they've already admitted death, so yeah, that's, I will help them kill her, is what she's saying here. I'll be of the utmost help and value. I give you my word. The both of you can't handle an enemy like me. You can't. I don't even know what to do to both of you to show you. At this point, I'm not going to play. I'm going to react. I will respond with action. Louise says she's a disabled woman, homeless. She's of no threat to you. Just drop it. It's been fixed, she says. You need to get that you're making the choice to befriend someone kind enough to tell you to your face if you come a step closer to ever making me feel like this again. You're not ready for the enemy you've created. Wow, so she's threatening him. If you ever step out of line, 
You are not ready for the enemy you've created, and she's already called herself God's assassin. Hmm. Please don't make threat, she says. I'll never speak a threat. I will respond in action. Action, not threats, my dear. You've only seen action once with the lawyer's letter. You're not ready for what I'll do. <laughs> she keeps saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna call the cops hiding behind a computer screen about a stranger. I'm such a badass. <laughs> I'll let you think about this before you decide whether or not you're comfortable doing this show at this point. Yeah, now that you've admitted you're trying to murder me? Mm -hmm. Because, dear God, I'm not ever going to forget this, and I will never cast one threat. You will just see the aftermath. You can think about it and let me know if you're safe enough to be my friend. <laughs> That's the shit that Louis falls for. That's so funny. <laughs> what an easy target. And here we, everybody thought that he was the scary badass, but he... <laughs> <coughs> he says, you just go and do what you want to do to me. And she says, I didn't pick a fight with this person. I did everything I could to stay out of it. Lies. She, she's... <laughs> Dude, they produced shows about me. They called to invite me on a show. I don't even know these people. So, she's lying. And the reason she wants the show erased is because she doesn't want proof that she came to me, just like the rest of them. Go ahead, I won't even fight back, I promise. She says, you don't get to decide. So you can think about it. If you feel confident this woman and her life won't bother me again, but I won't play with her. Well, wait, she just said she was going to kill me in a few different ways. He says, if you need to hurt someone, hurt me, fucking kill me, then have me killed. I don't care anymore. She says, it's up to you how this plays out. He says, she won't be a threat. I'm telling you, she's gone from your life. She says, then you both have nothing to worry about if that's true. And only time will unfold the truth. I already found some peeps that don't like her too much. I hope to never have to use this information. All right, so there you go. Gang stalking update. And yep, I'm going to keep telling on you gotta do something to defend myself, and I'm sure I'll put myself at risk and being deleted everywhere again because you're not allowed to tell the truth, but <laughs> what choice do I have? Hiding out, ignoring it, being silent didn't help. It made it worse. So here I am, I'm gonna try another way, and I'm going to talk about it, and I'm gonna document it, even though I've already been banned off of Facebook today, yesterday. All I did was just look. This person's threatening to kill me. I'm not allowed to tell. <laughs> That's funny. You're allowed to threaten to kill. You're just not allowed to stalk. You're allowed to stalk. You're allowed to bully. You're allowed to harass. You're allowed to do file false reports. Allowed to slander maliciously. You're allowed to do that, but you're not allowed to say no. And you're not allowed to post the evidence that they're allowed to do that. What does that tell you about Facebook and YouTube? Hello. Remember how Soul Journeys got deleted? Have a good day.